fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi Silver, the Lone Ranger. Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. There's danger along the Rio Grande. In the simmering heat of a summer day, two horsemen rode along a lonely trail in the back country north of the Rio Grande. Spirals of dust shot from beneath their horses' hoofs and hung in the still hot air. Beneath the brims of their sombreros, their eyes were narrow, their features hard, ruthless, the unmistakable faces of outlaws. Well, we'd better be moving out of these parts, Vince. This country's getting a mite too civilized. Never satisfied, are you, Lucky? Yeah, it ain't just me. The rest of the boys are getting restless, too. I'm still the boss, Lucky. When it's time to push on, I'll decide when and where it'll be. Oh, sure, Vince. But you gotta admit that rustling ain't safe no more. It's too risky getting rid of the cattle afterwards. I'm not figuring on rustling. You can open a new stagecoach line from Elbow Bend to Colby next week. What about it? There'll be freight and gold. No stage stick-ups for me, Vince. This country's too open. Ain't no cover in it anywhere. Getting scared, Lucky? Not scared, Vince. Just... Say, ain't that a creek we're coming to? Yeah. You sure that sand crossing it's a ford? Uh, it must be. Well, you don't sound too convincing. I'm gonna try it out. Well, you're worse than an old woman, Lucky. What are you afraid of, quicksand? Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, there. Easy, Lucky. Let's try it out with a rock. Here's a heavy one. Be careful you don't fall in. Just like I thought. What? Quicksand. That sand swallowed that rock like it was starving. Yeah? How wide would you say that creek was? Mm, about 60 feet. Why? Too wide for a stage to cross that sand to the other side? Sure. Stage couldn't get more than halfway. Yeah. Yeah, it'll sure be nice getting our hands on some gold again, won't it, Lucky? What do you mean? The stage is going to take this road. You're loco, Vince. The stage will take the main trail straight through to Colby. No, it won't. Not after we switch the signpost at the crossing. Switch the... The elbow bend to Colby run as a new route for the stage company, Lucky. The drivers will be dependent on the signpost to direct them. Especially at night. Yeah, that's right. It's on the night stage that they'll be freighting the gold. You mean... I'm thinking we can make mighty handy use of that quicksand, Lucky. You sure got a head between them shoulders, Vince. <laughs> Wait till the boys hear about this. That's right. We gotta be ready for the first stage to Colby. Get it up in. Get it up. hung 
came over the border town of Elbow Bend. It was a week later, and there was a bustle of activity before the express office. The night stage was being prepared for its first run to Colby. And from the shadow of a building nearby, a tall man who wore a white hat and a black mask watched the proceedings with his Indian companion. That's Jim Lane now, Tonto. Ah, him drive stage. Lucky, he can hitch his team to the stage now. Come on, Jim. Jim Lane, not outlaw now. He never was an outlaw, Tato. He just fell in with the wrong crowd. When we helped him out of that scrape in Mexico, he promised to break with that gang. I knew he'd keep his word. Ah, him good man now. He's coming this way. He'll give us a chance to compliment him on his new job. Ah. Hello, Jim. The mask man. Well, this is a surprise. You remember Tonto. Sure, how could I forget either of you? After what you did for me? How are you, Tonto? <laughs> Tonto, fine. Well, I, I kept my promise. I even got a job driving that stage. I know, Jim. Congratulations. Thanks. Say, am I indebted to you for this job, too? What do you mean? Well, when I asked to drive the stage, they cold-shouldered me. And then one day, the marshal stopped me on the street and questioned me. A few minutes later, he took me to the express office, and the job was mine. That's fine, Jim. Have you been in town since I got here? Yes, Jim. I wanted you to have your chance. Just as I thought. Oh, how can I ever thank you? By doing your job as well as you can, Jim. You can rest easy about that, partner. I'm going to be the best stage driver the company has. Besides, I... Well, I, I've got another reason for wanting to make good. You see that girl stepping into the stage? Yes. That's Barbara Wilkins. We're going to be married next week. Congratulations again. She lives in Colby. She's been over here visiting. The horses are all hitched, Jim. We'd better get moving. That man's face seems familiar. Who is he? Lucky Peters. He's the guard for the gold. You're carrying gold, huh? Hey, Jim! Come on! Well, goodbye, you two. Good luck, Jim. How and I may see you in Colby. Come on, Silver. Get him up. Come. Ah, oh, great pair, them two. Hello, Barbara. Better tuck that robe around your knees. It'll get cold when we hit the trail. Oh, thank you, Jim. Hey, give me a hand to the driver's seat, Lucky. Yeah, here you are. Yeah, the gold stowed away? Yeah. Come on, you cayuses. We're heading for Coldy. Get up there. Black clouds hovered in the heavens when an hour later, Vince Collins and his gang rode up at the quicksand ford at Elbow Creek. Oh, 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 oh. All right, boys. Wait here till we see the stage. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Luke? You're lucky getting the job as guard of the gold on the stage. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of funny. Nothing can go wrong now, boss. We switched the signpost and the stage is a cinch to take this trail instead of the right one. Yeah. Now remember, Luke, when the stage hits the creek, you take a couple of the boys and ride down there. Get the girl out and take her to Colby, then report to the sheriff. I got you, Vince. After we leave, you and the rest of the boys will unload the gold, cut the horses loose, and drive the stage into the quicksand, right? That's it. It'll sink without a trace. The express company will figure the gold went down with it. Hey, boss, the stage is coming. Get your horses out of sight over that hill, men. Right. Luke, you and your boys stay here. Mind no slip-ups. There won't be any, Vince. Treat that girl passenger general. We want her to think you're trying to help her. I understand, boss. All right, boys, get them up. Get them back. Sure this is the right road, Lucky? Sure, Jim. I know this country like a book. Well, it don't look familiar to me. I'm pulling up. Don't be a fool, Jim. You want to be late on your first run? We're doing Colby in an hour. We'll never get there on this trail. You must have taken the wrong turn back at the fort. Uh, the sign pointed this way. Well, maybe somebody twisted it. I'm going to pull up. Hey, there's Elbow Creek up ahead. That proves we're right. That proves we're wrong. There ain't any creek on the new stage route. Whoa. Hey, give me those reins. Yeah, take your hands off. I'm driving this. Hand them over quick. You'll get a slug from this shooting iron. What? Hey, what's the idea? I'll show you. Why, you low-down, double-crossing coyote. That'll teach you not to argue with a gun. Ho, ho there. Ho, hold up there. Steady now. Ho. Ho. What's happened? Why are we stopping? The bridge over the creek is down, ma'am. You can't go through, driver. That bridge is down. What happened? I don't know. The last big storm we had was to wash it away. Oh. Make that a ford across the creek? I wouldn't advise crossing that, mister. That's quicksand. 
Got any passengers inside? Well, just one, a girl. Mind giving her a lift to town? Of course not. Boys, help the young lady out. Everything's set, Lucky. Good. What about the driver? Yeah, he's out, but he'll be all right. Thank you, boy. Want me to hoist him up in your car, you? No. Vince and the boys will take care of him. They'll be here as soon as we leave with the girl. Jim! Jim, where are you? Well, you better keep an eye on the girl. She may cause trouble. I know what to do. Jim! Hey, he can't come now, ma'am. He's busy taking charge of the stage. But, but he and the guard were fighting. I thought I heard a groan. Well, it must have been your imagination, ma'am. Jim's all right. Following the new stage route, sometime after Jim Lane had set forth on his first run, the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode at an easy pace toward Colby. Suddenly, the masked man reined in his great white stallion. Oh, Silver, oh, boy. Who's oh, got hope, fella? Oh, oh. Why we stop here? That sign, Tonto. Arrow points along the other road. Oh, that sign not right. That trail goes south. Yes, I know. I'm afraid Jim may have taken it with the stage. We better investigate. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. This road go to Elko Creek. Plenty bad quicksand. No bridge. With this moon, we'll be able to see the creek from the top of the next rise. Uh-huh. The feeling I've seen the guard of that stage before. Him may be outlaw. Steel gold. Perhaps, Toto. If he is, he may be working with a partner who switched the sign. Uh, There's a stage now. Whoa, Silver. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, many men there. What them do? Some of them seem to be unloading the gold. They may be outlaw, huh? Toto, look. Two of the men are unharnessing the horses. Watch. They're driving them away. Why them do that? I don't... Yes. There's a reason. The gang is pushing the stage into the quicksand. Ah. They're trying to conceal all traces of the stage. Kimasabi, you look there. What is it, Tonto? That fellow drives stage. Jim Lane. Ah. He's a prisoner. See? Look. They've tied his hands. That's right. Now the gang's leaving, heading south. Come on, Silver. Get him up, scout. The stage is sinking, Tonto. Quicksand swallow stage plenty fast. We can't let it. We've got to get that stage out. Faster, Silver. Faster, boy. Oh, oh, easy, oh, Silver. <clears throat> First, we'll make sure the gold was stolen. Uh, <clears throat> he climbed tree. That's a good idea. Now, you can climb on that limb and crawl out over the stage. Here, wait a minute. I'll give you a hand up. Uh, <clears throat> me, me. Now, look for the gold in the baggage compartment. The box with the lid open. Uh, Tonto's happy. Can you see it yet? Uh, box empty. That's all we need to know. Come on back, Tonto. We've got to get that stage out of the quicksand to prove the theft. Sinking deeper every minute. Uh, 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 what we do? We'll use Silver, Tonto. The scout to help him, we can pull that stage out. Uh, uh, here's my rope. Uh, spinning his lariat, the Lone Ranger skillfully looped a rack jutting from the rear of the stage. He threw a hitch about the pommel of Silver's saddle. Another rope was tied to Scout's saddle. Then he gave the signal. Come on, Silver. You can do it. Hold, Scout. Hold. The powerful white stallion and the sturdy paint threw all of their great strength into the task. The quicksand that was sucking the stage into its mire began to yield. They're doing it, Tonto. The stage is pulling free. Uh, uh, good boy, Silver. Many good scouts. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Riding into Colby with Barbara, the outlaws led by Duke headed for the sheriff's home. Ho, 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 boy, ho, boy. Be back in a minute, ma'am. Just want to report what's happened to the stage to the sheriff. Well, nothing's happened to it. It just can't get through. Uh, it's freight and gold, ma'am. There may be outlaws on the prowl. Outlaws? Then Jim may be in danger. I'll go with uh, you. You wait here, ma'am. I'll take care of everything. Oh, Who is it? Luke Davis, Sheriff. I got news for you. Who are you? Uh, just a cowpuncher, Sheriff. You mind if we talk inside? Uh, what's on your mind, mister? I want to report a robbery, Sheriff. What's that? That's what it appeared to be, to the boys and me, anyways. We was riding along Elbow Creek when we saw the stage from Elbow Bend standing by the side of the road. Elbow Creek? What was the stage doing down there? I don't know, Sheriff. Maybe the drive and the guard had a plan to steal the gold they was freighting. What makes you think that? Well, when the boys and me rode up to see what the trouble was, they both pulled guns on us, told us to give the passenger a lift to town and keep our mouths shut. I see. We did like we was told. But when we topped a rise, I looked back and they were driving the stage into the creek. Trying to afford it, eh? Maybe. I heard the guard call the driver Jim. I figured Yeah, that... Jim Lane. I told the express company it was a mistake, hiring a reformed outlaw for the stage. Well, he won't get far. I'll have a posse on his heels so quick it'll make his head spin. At the outlaw's camp, Vince, Lucky, and their gang were celebrating the success of their venture. Jim, bound and gagged, lay on the ground near the fire. How many of you boys still feel like moving on? Well, not me, Vince. That goal looks too good. <laughs> that ends your beef, Lucky? Yeah, I still say we ought to hit for the border. We'll wait for Luke. Maybe you'll have news that'll change your mind. Luke's coming now, boss. Oh, horse. Oh, oh, boy. Go oh, there. Oh. Everything go off all right with the sheriff, Luke? Everything went fine, Vince. The sheriff rounded up a posse and rode to Elbow Creek. The stage had sunk into the quicksand just like we figured. There wasn't even a scrap of evidence. You mean you, you couldn't even see the stage underwater? Not a trace. Funny it took you down so fast. What did you say about the driver, Luke? Well, I told the sheriff Jim had driven me and the boys away with the gun and then drove the stage into the creek. That convinced him Jim was reverting to his old crooked habits. Some smart sheriff. He figures Jim mired the stage in the quicksand while attempting to get away with the gold. And that when the gold disappeared along with the stage and horses into the sand... Jim Vamoost. That's what we want him to think, eh, huh, Luke? Yeah. The sheriff will spend all his time hunting Jim. And Jim's not going to see Colby for a long, long time. We've got nothing to worry about, boys. Maybe we can even get our hands on some more of that gold. Why, what do you mean, Vince? There's another stage coming from Elbow Bend tomorrow night. You ain't thinking of pulling that signpost trick again. Maybe. But the driver won't fall for that wrong road a second time. He'll know about it. I got a different angle for this holdup. Suppose we stop the stage at the crossroads. Yeah. We make prisoners of the driver and guard, same as we did you and Jim. Then we drive the stage into the quicksand at the creek, first unloading the gold. Presto, the coach disappears, and there's no evidence, nothing. Well, what's the sheriff going to think if it happens again? He's going to go hunting for Jim here. <laughs> but he's never going to find him. Yeah, the sooner we get rid of that, hombre, the better it'll be for us, Vince. Not yet, Luke. Jim's going to do a job for us first. Just in case somebody spots his way laying the stage, Jim's going to be real prominent in front. And he won't be wearing a mask. <laughs> Early the next day, Barbara Wilkins called on the sheriff in his office. Her eyes flashed and her chin jutted forward in determination. Well, Barbara, this is a surprise. Sheriff, I hear you suspect Jim of trying to steal the gold from the stage. That's right, Barbara. Jim's innocent. I... He wouldn't do such a thing. Jim's been an outlaw before, Barbara. I reckon riding in the same coach with gold tempted him back to his old habits. That's not true. I'm telling you, Barbara. Jim landed the stage in quicksand trying to make his getaway. And vermoosed when he couldn't budge neither the coach nor the gold. I don't believe it. Jim's not that sort. He... We were going to be married. Well, I'm sorry, Barbara. Take my advice and forget Jim. He ain't worth the trouble. Senor, Senor Sheriff, the stagecoach come down the road. Stagecoach? The day coach ain't due from Elbow Bend till this afternoon. It's night coach, Sheriff. It's one that gets stuck in the quicksand. How in thunder? 
You, you coming, Barbara? I want a gander at that stage. I'm coming, Sheriff. There she comes. Two men on the box. What? One of those men's an engine. And the other's masked. Get ready to cover them, man. Don't shoot, Sheriff. The masked man's reining up. He's going to stop. I ain't taking any chances, Barbara. Halt! Pull up them horses in the name of the law. Put up your guns, Sheriff. Stand where you are. I'm turning this stage over to you as evidence. You'll find that the baggage compartment has been broken open. Stranger, he's right, Sheriff. He's nothing here. And then the gold was stolen. What have you done with it, stranger? The gold was stolen by outlaws, Sheriff. You're right, stranger. You and Jim Lane. You're on the wrong trail. Neither I nor Lane had anything to do with taking the gold. In fact, Jim Lane is being held captive by the gang. Jim a prisoner? <laughs> Who would believe that? If Jim Lane is with the gang, he's more than likely one of them. That's not true. If I were an outlaw, Sheriff, why should I drive the stage here? We'll find out about that when the time comes. Meanwhile, I'm locking you up. Oh, hold there. Hold oh, more. It's oh, the oh. Marshal from Elbow Bend. <sighs> What's going on here? You're just in time, Marshal. This here's one of them outlaws that robbed the stage last night. You're making a mistake, Sheriff. He just rode up in that coach, and the gold's been broken out of the baggage compartment. Sorry, Sheriff. That gold was the property of the United States government. And the government's taking charge of this case right now. Release that man. I hope you know what you're doing, Marshal. I do, Sheriff. I've already talked with your prisoner. What do you mean? Just this. Instead of locking up the masked man, you're taking orders from him. <laughs> That night, the Lone Ranger, once more astride the fiery silver, rode at the head of the sheriff's posse. Uh, ain't it time you told us where we're heading, stranger? Crossroads, Sheriff. That's where the outlaws plan to waylay the stage. Just point them out and I'll do the rest. I've uh, told your men that we're just watching the hold up. You told them what? It'll be time enough to attack later when we've gotten the evidence. Besides, you've got to find out where they're hiding that first shipment of gold. Won't be carrying it with them. Faster, Rex! Barbara, what in tarnation brings you here? Just in danger, Sheriff, and I want to help. This ain't no place for a petticoat. Now skedaddle. I'm not leaving until we found Jim. Right in your horses, men. You can watch the hole up from this hill. Oh, Silver. Oh, 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 oh. There's the gang hiding in that ravine. Yes. With this full moon, we can see them plainly. They're the outlaws, all right. They're all masked. The one in front isn't. Listen. Isn't that the stage rounding the bend? Yeah. There she comes. The outlaws have spotted it, too. Heading straight for ambush. That isn't the new stage that was marred in the quicksand. No, Marshal. Oh, I understood your Indian friend drove it back to Elbow Bend so it could make the night run. I had a better idea, Marshal. Say, that's Jim Lane in front of them outlaws. Oh, no, it can't be. Yes, it is, Jim, Sheriff. But he's not an outlaw. My eyes tell me he is, stranger. All right, boys. Not time to attack yet, Sheriff. What are we waiting for? They're tying up the driver and the guard, ain't they? And unloading the gold. You can't accuse an innocent man, Sheriff. Jim Lane is the outlaw's prisoner. See? The man standing behind Jim is holding a gun on him. It's true. Look. They're driving the stage down the trail toward the creek. And Jim Lane's holding the reins. I've seen enough. Tell your men to follow me, Sheriff. Where to? We can't let them outlaws get away. Hurry, Sheriff. Every minute counts. Come on, Silver. All right, men. Follow the masked man. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Hand with the stage, Jim. You double crossing pole cat. <laughs> Easy, son. One thing's sure. I ain't driving these horses to that quicksand. Yeah, get better if you know what's good for you. You don't frighten me. I heard you talking last night. You're figuring I'm murdering me after this job and hightailing it from Mexico. Whoa, rain up there. Whoa. Oh, boy, steady. Whoa. No. Okay. What are you slowing up for? Keep him covered, Fence. I'm taking the reins. No. Get up there, you owner. Get up there. I'm riding along the trail with you, Lucky. I'll keep the kid in my gun sights. What's that on the trail up ahead at the creek? Looks like a wagon. It's my new stage. Somebody must have pulled it out. Pull up, Lucky. No, I can't. The brakes won't hold. You crash. Swing over to the side. There ain't room. There's a ditch alongside. Wait in your horses. The horses are out of control. I'm going to jump. Luke, take care of Jim. He's getting away. Bring the boss. Saddle him on your cayuse and head for camp. See you there, Vince. You all right, Lucky? My leg. 
feels like it's broken. I'll give you a look at my horse. Easy there now. Pretty easy. Oh, there. Now we'll have a look at it back at camp. Make tracks for the hideout, boys. Where with you, Marsh? All right, come on. The sheriff must have wasted that stage fence. And if he did, he may have followed our trail to the camp. I should have listened to you in the first place, Lucky. We'll hustle back to the hideout for the gold and hightail it for Mexico Prado. Come on, get up. Easy, horse. Get up there. Get up. Here's the camp, Lucky. We better have a look at that gold right away. Yeah. Pull up there. Ooh, ooh. What do you want done with Jim, Vince? Forget him for a minute. A couple of you boys start digging up that gold. All right. It ain't been touched, boss. If anybody had taken it, they wouldn't have bothered to fill up the hole. Stop arguing help with that digging. Just as you say, boss. Where's that shooting coming from? The woods. That came from the south. They got you cornered, Vince. You rode into a trap. Put on your guns. You're surrounded. Come and get us. Right, men. Hold it on them. There goes this cop, Vince. I know that voice. You tongue wagon coyote, at least they won't take you alive. Oh, I Who's there for the mess, man? We got to throw in, Vince. There are too many for us. It ain't that, you fool. You just can't see him to shoot at him. But I ain't giving up, I'll show him. Oh. Another hit for the mess, man. Come on and get him. They're all reaching for the sky. There, your prisoner, Sheriff. The gold is buried under that tree where they started to dig. Yeah. Say. You're all right, stranger. Wouldn't have located him if it hadn't been for you. Tunnel deserves a credit, Marshal. He drove Jim's stage to Elbow Creek for the outlaws to find. If it hadn't been for you, I'd be six feet under. We couldn't have acted sooner, Jim, or the sheriff would have arrested you for an outlaw. But you're clear now. And when you get back to Elbow Bend, don't be surprised to find not only your job waiting, but a raise. A raise? Call it a wedding present, Jim. Jim. Oh, Jim, you're safe. You're down tooting I am, honey, and guess what? Don't tell me we work to do. Get him up. Oh, the masked man is riding away. Oh, and just as I was going to invite him to our wedding. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.